Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today, we'll use D5 Render to quickly set up an outdoor scene. First, let's use an HDRI to provide base lighting for the scene. Here is a pro tip. Enable Sun Follows HDRI to avoid multiple shadows and create a realistic environmental atmosphere. Next, use backdrop planes to block out the surroundings. This prevents a bare skyline and adds reflection details, making glass materials look more authentic. Now let's use D5 Scatter to quickly create a lawn. Use the cull feature to stop grass from growing where it shouldn't like onto paths. Adjust the density so it's not too thick. Leave some bare ground for realism. The path tool makes it easy to tweak plant placement. For a layered skyline, try trees like European ash or California oak. They also help block unwanted background elements. Remember the golden rule, work from big to small. Start with the broader environment, then refine the nearby landscape step by step. You can collect and save your preferred assets to the local library. When placing foreground plants, use high quality assets to nail that wild, natural look. For shrubs on the lawn, use paths instead of brushes. They're more controllable and won't overload your polygon count. Add details like dry grass and fallen leaves to enhance road realism. Sprinkle in a few broadleaf trees to spice up the composition. Before hitting render, don't forget to check the Post AI channel map. After rendering, click AI Post Processing for extra tweaks. From D5 Render 2.10 and on, you can now selectively in-paint areas like sky, water, plants, or even people. Just select the plants and start in-painting. You can review the effects before and after in-painting. Plus, there's new motion blur. Select a person and add blur to instantly simulate movement. That completes our tutorial. Thanks for watching.